training is something that so many owners get stressed about. And you don't have to. There's a really simple method that if you follow it and really commit to it for the next couple of days, you can have your puppy dry in a week. So, why does this problem occur? Well, you've got to remember that puppies, little puppies, don't have much bladder control. They haven't yet learned, because they've not needed to, to hold their wee in their poo. But secondly, and most importantly, they don't know where to go. They don't know they're meant to wee and poo outside. They've probably spent most of their life indoors, with firstly, mum cleaning up for them, and then secondly, pads and newspapers and those sorts of things. The method we're going to use doesn't use pads, so pick up your pads right now, throw them in the bin. <laughs> we don't need them, it's just confusing to the puppy to teach them it's okay to pee and poo inside on a pad, but not normally. Instead, we're not going to use an ambiguous method, we're going to use a method where the puppy goes outside every time. Secondly, I want you all to really think about this. When a puppy has an accident, it is an accident. Puppies don't do it on purpose, they don't wee and poo on purpose in the house. They do it because they don't know any, any different. So don't get cross with them, don't rub their nose in it or anything like that. All that happens is create behaviour problems later on. It creates anxiety around going for a wee and a poo and also it often can teach puppies to hide that wee and poo because they get in trouble if, if their puppy parents find it. So instead, what you're going to do when the puppy does have an accident is think to yourself, this is an accident. It's just that. You're then going to remove your puppy from the situation so that he's not getting in the way while you're cleaning and adding to your frustrations. You're going to clean up that mess with some pet friendly spray and then you're going to let the puppy back in again. So how are we going to nail this puppy training? Well, what we're going to do to start with is I want you to download the toilet training time chart that's below this video and stick it to the fridge. You over the next couple of days, you're going to take your puppy out every single hour. You're going to really commit to it so that we can nail it in a shorter amount of time. Training time chart that's below this video and stick it to the fridge and you're going to fill it in. What you're going to do is you're going to take your puppy out every single hour. So every hour at some point you're going to take your puppy out. When in that hour you take them out is denoted by their behaviour. So there are five things that I want you to watch for. And as soon as your puppy does any of these things, out they go. It might mean that they go out more in, in an hour as well, but that's fine. Because at the moment, what we want to do is we just want to build an absolute errorless start so that they don't get it wrong at all. So the five signposts that we're looking for to take puppy out are the following behaviours. After the puppy's had a play, after the puppy's done some training, after they've had anything to eat or their main meals, after they've had a nice long drink, and once they've had a nap. But it's also good to keep note and take your puppy out if he sniffs around on the floor or starts to circle. Take your puppy out, pop him on a lead so that he doesn't think it's playtime, and walk around the shrubbery or the soil areas of your garden, as this usually stimulates defecation or urination. If the puppy does go, don't forget to give them a treat and give them lots of fuss and then take them back inside. After this, once you've got back inside, which should usually take about five minutes, then fill out your timesheet so that you know when your puppy has gone. The reason that you're filling out that timesheet is so that we can get an idea of the puppy's routine. Once you've filled it out for three days, you begin to get a little bit of an idea as to when the puppy needs to go. So it might be that in those three days, at no point has he gone between three and four o'clock in the afternoon, but he's always gone between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. That way you can start to watch out for those signs a little bit more and be a bit more vigilant and make sure your puppy's very close by during the hours of the day where they're likely to go and maybe be not quite so vigilant and be able to relax a little bit off the toilet training during the time when you know that he's not quite so likely to go. Also, you can begin to wait for them to ask. To do this, when it's the time that you want them to go, look for any human connection. So any time between, for example, 9 and 10 a.m. when they usually go, that they start looking at you, whining or orientating by the door, and take that as a card to massively reward them, take them straight outside and see if they'll go to the loo. That way you can begin to develop the idea that the puppy's connection with you is actually what is taking them outside to go to the toilet and that that is highly desirable. Thank <laughs> you.